What's going on my little piglets? It's your BFF Porkchop here and I'm coming at you with another update with Porkchop. Before I get started, if you guys could please, 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 for the love of God, participate in my uh, poll that I have in my community tab about these vlogs, whether you want me to make them daily or weekly. I'm at a 50-50 split right now with 14 total votes. So if you guys can uh, have, if one of y'all, if you haven't already, Please be the deciding factor. Please be the one vote that uh, swings either way. And uh, I would greatly appreciate it. And in all honesty, it would uh, just let me know because if uh, I have a split decision, uh, baby love, the wife, is usually the tiebreaker when it comes to these kind of things. So, um, or if Chris hasn't participated, um, I'll make Big Bird be the deciding factor. If he has participated, then... Uh, Oh well, I guess I'll probably just get the wife to do it. Um, and in all honesty, it just, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing that there is a split decision when it comes to the piglets, uh, something like this. And yeah, so I guess I'll find out by midnight tonight where y'all stand. Um, but anyway, so today was um, different. And by that, I mean, instead of getting up at 7 a.m. and working until 5 today at my full-time job uh, at the wholesaler, uh, I only had to work 1 to 5 today, and I actually got off 5 minutes early, so. <laughs> but no pizza plant tonight. They uh, cut my uh, Wednesday night, which I'm actually kind of okay with, like I said. Um, I get to spend time with my wife tonight and, and hang out and maybe edit some uh, videos. And by that, I mean... I officially, I had a little bit of time to myself, and I got not one, but two installments of the Huskies franchise uh, recorded. I do have to do some editing. I had to uh, stop a couple of times. One was because uh, officially, I think one of my controllers is uh, is gone. It's bit the dust because it wasn't working at all. I think one of the... Uh, the uh, R2 or L2, one of those buttons is sticking and it, it's not registering. So I don't know what happened to it. If it fell, somebody put water on it. Uh, one of the cats knocked it down. I don't know what happened. So I <laughs> am just going with the flow and uh, using the uh, controller that has uh, bite marks on it. So I think that's kind of it's kind of uh, an opportune thing for me to use because uh, it has a uh, dog bite marks on it and uh, is missing the uh the handle for the left a little bit and uh because of uh our roommate's dog uh tore into it like one of the first uh days that he was there i left it down and he got into it so that's my bad but um it's kind of fitting because it's the huskies you know and so i have two of those recorded need to edit those and i am projecting because I need a little bit more time. I'm projecting the second week of April to get these videos out for you. I want to have at least a handful of them recorded so I can have them edited and ready to go for you so that uh, you guys know that they're going to have like a consistent pace and uh, that they're actually going to get out in a timely manner. Um, if I have a little bit more time tomorrow, because I have to go in at 7 a.m. tomorrow, um, and they told me I might work the full day or I might get sent home at noon. We don't know. So we're just playing it by ear each day. So if I get sent home at noon, that gives me a couple of hours to record some more Huskies or Cowboy franchise. I really need to get into that also. And yeah, so we will go from there. And also I, I got a new headset. So I want you guys to tell me if you like the old headset or the new headset uh, sound better. Um, because I think it sounds a little bit different. I just wanted to get y'all's input. So if you would uh, do that when the videos are up and running, I would greatly appreciate it. But April is looking like uh, I wanted to start in February, and then February came and went. March is almost out on its way out. That's crazy to think about. And April, uh, second week of April, is looking like it's going to be the projected uh, Huskies videos and then uh, sprinkled in some Cowboys franchise in there. So there you have it. And I might also release maybe this Friday or maybe Saturday or what have you. 
um, I might release another one of my uh, my high school project videos. Uh, I have a couple of those stockpiled, and uh, I'd like to release those. Um, for, Freddy vs. Captain Avenger didn't go over as well as I'd hoped it would. Um, Sick Day went over a little bit better, but um, that's just because Freddy vs. Captain Avenger I just released. I just popped it in and was like, hey, it's the 10th anniversary of this, so here you go. Um, maybe with like a little bit of time and a little bit of uh, marketing behind some of these other ones, maybe they'll do okay. But, yeah, so, anyway. And uh, thank you to the 11 people that have watched the uh, <laughs> Freddy vs. Captain Avenger video. I greatly appreciate you. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah, this morning I woke up at 8. I was like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this time to sleep in because I don't have to be at work till 1. So, I uh, was like, I'm going to sleep in. And I woke up and it was 8 o'clock. My wife was leaving for work because she has to be at work at 8.30. So it was eight o'clock and my wife said, what are you doing up? And I said, like, I guess I'm up because I, uh, I'm not tired. So I woke up, oh crap, I got something in my eye all of a sudden. Oh, don't touch your face people during this pandemic. I just got something in my eye and I'm driving and I don't want this to be an, an uh, issue. An, an, an issue, Jesus. So, <laughs> and I woke up because late last night at uh, 1 o'clock, finally, I gave up the ghost. At 1 o'clock, I finished 250 songs for Church 6. 250 songs in the bag for Church 6. So I said, okay, I'm going to sleep, and uh, I'm going to put this playlist together in the morning. So whether it be... Um, oh, sorry, there's a cop. I think he's trying to get somebody. I think he's uh, pulling that guy over back there. But uh, anyway, so whether it be like six months from now, nine months from now, whatever, um, Church 6 is done. It is in the books. It is done. Uh, Rocket Baboon, thank you so much for participating in it, and you will be acknowledged in the description of the playlist. Um, I still have to make the, uh, the uh, concept art for it. I still have to make the, uh, the album cover for it. But it's pretty, it's done. And uh, I did a little tester today. I listened to a big chunk of it today. And I already took a couple of songs out and added a few more in. Um, I substituted a lot of songs. There were a few songs that I put in the playlist and I just went and listened to it. And I was like, eh. I was like, I can probably find a better song than this. So I, I would take them out. There are a few gems in there. And by gems, I mean things that aren't rock, rap. Um, there is one classical song in there. There is one Christian song in there. There is um, a lot of country in there um, from Texas. I still got to, you know, represent my roots. Um, a lot of, uh, there's a few prog songs in there, a few 80s metal songs, a few 70s metal songs, um, hip hop, R&B, um, uh, pop, just, I mean, it's got a little bit of everything. That's what that's what the concept is. Is it's a little bit of everything sprinkled into it. It's a uh, it's a uh, gumbo. It's a great American melting pot. Even though most of it's not American, but um, it's got a little bit of everything. A little taste for everything. You know, if you want to skip a song, you can skip a song and go on to the good stuff. You can listen to it in order where you know what you're gonna get, or you can put it on shuffle and just let the uh, the shuffle take over. Um, I recommend playing the first when it comes out the first five songs I recommend playing it in a row and then shuffle the rest um, just because I uh, kind of built it that way these were the first five songs that I picked for the playlist so they're there for a reason um, and one of them is a first listen I listened to today and it's a local band called uh, Divided Me and uh, they've been in church playlists in the past uh, they're they're from Borger, which is about an hour from Amarillo, and they kick so much ass, dude. I wish I discovered them like right as they were forming and releasing songs. I was a couple years uh, too late to the party, but I uh, I'm impressed, man. They have a new one called Distant Apologies, and that new single is the first song that's leading off this playlist, and I think it deserves it. So. Uh, 
divided me. If any of y'all watch it, uh, Jory or Scott or Tyler or any of y'all, if any of y'all are watching this, then um, you guys got the first track on uh, Church 6. So there you have it. All right. So that also being said, uh, the Cowboys, let's talk some football here. So the, uh, anyway, so the keywords for today's video is church six in the bag. So church six in the bag. You can spell it, you know, the, the word church and the six at the end of it, or you can spell it like it's uh, supposed to, which is C, the number six, and then uh, let's see, C, number six, R U C H is how it's uh, it's spelt. All caps, by the way, um, except for the number six. But <laughs> anyway, um, so there you go. Those are the uh, that's those are the keywords for today. Um, question number one. Um, I asked this on the uh, the Huskies thing. What do you think the Huskies uh, record's going to be at the end of it? Um, number two, the question is if you were if you were able to eat at one restaurant for the rest of your life it could be fast food it could be a local joint it could be you know italian it could be american it could be chinese whatever uh where would that restaurant be and why would you eat there for the rest of your life and question number three let's go ahead and get a uh a necessary question in here if you were able to vote on the vlogs, whether it be daily or weekly, why did you vote the way that you did? Just give me some more feedback other than just the poll question. I greatly appreciate it. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you all so much once again for dropping by. And always remember my little piglets, Colin Porkchop, loves y'all the most. Y'all take it easy, guys, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys!